Dougie. So what we're gonna talk about? You got something in your teeth, Doug. Is it a scallion? Oh. Actually, you have something in your teeth. Do I? Yeah, you did. Oh God. Has Bobby told you he wants us to have like literally like a makeup department or some shit? No. You heard his thing about yeah, that? No, like I we want someone to, like to do our hair and. Well, so he the one who's like you know warm life is gonna be authentic. <laughs> <laughs> well, he you doesn't have... want us to authentically. Not look schleppy. Look yeah. like ourselves. We got ugly people on Worm Life. It's, it's true. <laughs> we really do. Anyway. <laughs> but. This is in regards to the new Como that we are the proud owners of now. It is sold 140. Whoa! wired the funds over. We own that machine. Yeah. It is in Connecticut. So what is the status now? The status is we have to get it out fast. <laughs> There's a procedure for locking it down, rigging it for transport. So it doesn't get destroyed in transit. Yeah. yeah. Monday it gets moved and lands here. So we need to do some prep work. I think it looks like it already started. Yeah, it's starting. Yeah. So the, the guys that move these big machines, they're called riggers. Quotes for riggers to get the equipment from Connecticut to Taunton, Massachusetts. Yeah. It was like twenty-two thousand dollars was one of the quotes. Twenty-eight thousand six fifty. Was one. Was one of them. From one guy. We're not gonna use him. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna use a company called Petowitz. They're ten thousand five hundred bucks. Oh, okay. So then, what is the roadmap to get that machine then operational? So what's the timeline on the Como Tech? Timeline on Como Tech is two weeks after the machine mm. shows oh, up. Shit. But we need we need air. We need vacuum. We need electric. Uh, is there anything else this machine needs? Dust collection. Right. Dust collection, yeah, no, that's, these installs. Dale, go through those four, just roughly, gut check. How much for, how much for dust collection? Well, we know. 7,500. 7,500 to just tie it into our existing dust collection machine. Electric is gonna be the same as that number I kicked over to you a while back, which was 36,000 bucks. It adds up, it adds up. The ancillary systems on all these machines are like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Just to be able to plug in a machine that costs hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mm. Anyway, that gets us a machine that then is theoretically ready for Mike, you to take over? What do you need to do to prepare for this, for the actual running the machine? Training. Then what else do we need? Tooling. Uh, we spoke with Nick So, in terms of tooling, how much would tooling for our toppers cost to get that machine up and running for toppers? The holders alone is $150 a holder and we need four of the other. Okay, that's not bad. I believe the tools are about six or $800 a piece. So, 3,000 per spindle. Ugh. Times four. Ugh. And that's for the cheaper tooling. If we go hydraulic, we're looking at five to six hundred the tool times forty. This is all just a hook. What he's talking. This is literally just a thing to hold the bit in yeah. the part that spins. That's it. It's like literally just like oh, it didn't fall out and spins. Yeah. That machine holds 40 tools, 10 per spindle. 40 tools? Yes. Why would we ever need that many? The reason we need them, that spindle is going to have 10 tools, and that's to do one program. So it's not like you're going to run 40 different, different tools. tools. You're running four of a kind of a variety of up to, say, 10 tools. How many tools does our topper program use? Eight. Great. Okay. Vocabularize this. This is a tool holder. This is spinning. Woo, yeah. woo, 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 woo. And it is cutting like this into a piece of wood. Yeah. Cut, 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 cut. This is the tool holder. So this is, what styles of tool, tool holders are there? So this is a collet tool holder. So inside the holder, you actually have a collet that goes in there. What's a collet? Collet is what squeezes onto your tool to hold your tool into place. The collet has a taper cut inside of it, the same as a tool. Uh... As the tool goes into the collet, yeah, yeah, yeah. all these holes collapse thinner as this goes down on the threads mm -hmm. and pushes this down. So we have the tool holder, we have a collet, and then we have a tool. So the disadvantages of a collet is these usually last two to three months. Um, these collets break down, hence what happened here. Ooh. And this tool actually melted oh. in there at 20,000 RPMs, and it melted within probably 10 or 15 seconds before we could stop the machine. This could also come out of the machine, and it could also fly across the shop, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is very scary. That scares me with a tool of this size. <laughs> right. A tool of this size should yeah. be what the next call that we're looking at to start using, which is a hydraulic. Yeah. It means liquid. Yeah. So how is this holding it? Yeah, how, how does that... 
So yes. inside of here, there is a reservoir full of oil. As you tighten this screw, there's a bladder that tightens onto the tool. No. So as that tightens, give me, give me a thing. I want to. I can you see it? Whoa. Okay. There is something happening. It's very subtle. I mean, we're talking about a fit of only a couple of foul between the tool and that. Mm. Is this is this for a half inch? This is for half, a half inch, inch shank. So you're saying this 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 hole right here is almost perfectly a half almost inch. Perfect. Oh wow. Oh, oh yeah. So you're saying if I now tighten this, that little oil bladder thingy. <laughs> can, I, can you over tighten this? No. You can just hand tighten it? Well, when you hand tighten it, you're supposed to torque it with a torque wrench to a hundred. Mm -hmm. I can't move it. And I'm very strong. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't need to call it. No. Nope. They last two to three years. Oh, so why don't oh, we I just thought... upgrade to these? We should. I feel like it's done. it's obvious. There's two other options over the hydraulic that I don't think we ever have to go except for... What's better than hydraulic? The heat fit. So you actually have to buy a machine that heats up. To expand the metal. The you s so it's like you heat up this, slide the tool in, and then Jesus. when it cools... So wait, then to get the tool out, you have to put it back in your like easy bake oven? <laughs> you can if you can get it out. If the tool breaks, you can lose a tool holder. If this tool snaps in there, yeah, yeah. you not. can't find a way of pulling this back out and it snaps flush. Yep. You're gonna have a hard time with that. Mm. Other than going with an integrated tool where this and the tool is all one piece. This whole thing is just a solid piece of metal. Yep. So the gold standard would be literally the whole tool is just one, one piece. piece of metal. Yep. Interesting. One piece of metal fully balanced. Uh, what do you think's coming in? I think it's a fax. I <laughs> character like, like you nerds. <laughs> Is there anything else we have to talk about, Ian? I don't think so. Layout. Where's it going? Right Where? I, I have no don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what does this mean? Oh. oh, this is CNC. So. Celixes, tiny twin table, bigger twin table, larger Como. So we are gonna need to take down some racks. Yeah, all those racks right there, Mike. My plan is to just move all of it. How much space do we have to get it in the door, Dale? <laughs> we have an inch. Mother of Jesus! How is it gonna get in? Through the door. <laughs> That's a good start. Yeah. yeah I, I guess. Yeah. Just whoop, and then in. Holy shit! Yeah, I'm glad I'm not doing this. <laughs> we got professionals now. Yeah. I don't know how they're gonna do this. That's it. That's what's gonna do it. And then he's gonna swing around to the other side, pick up his end. It's skated in on the trucks. What? <laughs> Just a little thing. <laughs> to get it through that door. This is the, I guess it's the biggest machine we've ever had, but this is the longest. This is crazy. Got through a door. Four more hours. See ya. <laughs> Bye, Matt. No, I think this is pretty much wrapped up. This is just the beginning. Uh, this is there's a fair amount of the way there. That's it's it. gonna take us about a month to get this machine up and running. It's gonna take us two weeks to get this thing running to find out that it could possibly have issues. No, <laughs> Dale, they fired this up for you before we bought it, correct? Yeah. I'm pretty comfortable with this. 
Great. Well, it's gonna be famous last words, right? Every machine we've ever put in this building has had an issue. <laughs> yeah. It comes with the territory. I don't know if it's working.